question and uh, here it is given that why is the convolution of H n and G n where H n is equal to this much and G n is a causal sequence and if y0 is equal to 1 and y1 is equal to 1 y2 then we have to find out the value of g1 because in this question g is not given right g is not given and h is given and y some part of y is given right so we have to find out the value of g of 1 and uh, you can also say that yn is equal to hn into gn that means because this this is given in the convolution so we can say that uh, whenever uh, convolution is given then uh, you can say that question is talking about the LTI system and the input of the LTI system is GN and it is HN and output of the LTI system is the Y of N right so whenever we have to find out the convolution of the function in the discrete time domain here the question is given in the form of the discrete time domain so some parts are given as y0 is equal to 1, y1 is equal to 1 by 2 is given and we have to find out the input g1 right and also hn is given hn is given as 1 by 2 power of n and u n so you can say that it is also a causal system causal system because u plus n is there so you can say that h0 is that is 1 by 2 power of 0 is 1 h1 is 1 by 2 power of 1 and because this is the un so it doesn't matter it will be always equal to 1 for the positive values ok and h2 is equal to 1 by 4 h3 is equal to 1 by 8 and so on right but we have to get the value of g1 only ok now since we know that for finding the convolution in the discrete time domain we use a table and here we are writing the functions one side input is there this side and this side we use the impulse response of the system and the resultant of the convolution will be the output ok here output is the y n y 0 so h n 0 h 0 is 1 h 1 is 1 by 2 h 2 is 1 by 4 h3 is 1 by 8 ok and uh, just assume here g g1 g0 is a and also one thing is there y0 and y1 are given ok so that that should be the output this is the this part is g0 assume g1 as a b g2 as a c and g3 as a D. ok so what is the rule of the convolution just multiply each element that is a a by 2 a by 4 a by 8 b b by 2 b by 4 b by 8 c c by 2 c by 4 c by 8 d d by 2 d by 4 and d by 8 our table is completed and just take this part, this one, this one, this one, this one, this, this and this ok so what will happen this is this is given the y0 so we can say that because the summation of the elements will give the resultant convolution that is output so we can say that this is the y0 so we can see that y0 is a a right first thing and y0 is equals to 1 is given in the question so we can say that a is equals to 1 second this part b plus a by 2 y1 is equals to b plus a by 2 and it is already given in question is 1 by 2 but a is already 1 by 2 so b plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 so conclusion is b is equal to 0 so we got the value of a and b and we have to find out the value of g of n so in this question g of n is equal to b right so we assume that our g1 is b so we got the value of b is equal to 0 so our answer is 
जीरो 